Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here, and we're going to do another beer review. Now, do us a favour if you have just found us here on YouTube, like, share, and subscribe to this channel. It's the Hop House. We do beer reviews galore, we like uh, hoppy beer, and we also do house music. The music side of the channel, I have done very little on so far. Um, but coming up we have got a live stream over my Twitch account because YouTube won't let me because of copyright. So if you like good pumping tunes, uh, would, it's going to be a 90s special. I will put up a separate video about it but just to let you know, Saturday the 10th of April on my Twitch account. Uh, it's going to be a 90s special, there's going to be three DJs involved and we're going to be taking it back to the 90s for some house and dance classics. Okay, beer review time. Uh, and this one we are going back to one of the big discount supermarkets for. Uh, we're going to Aldi. We're gonna go to their one of their bottled beers and it's a beer I've had, but it's been rebranded. And before it was called Wild Bill's IPA. It's now called, I'll show you the beer. It's now just called American IPA from Harper's Brewing Company. And um, this label, it's got a hop on the lid. Hey, look at the hoppy, hoppy Henry. Um, but the actual label on the bottle itself is a bit. Hmm. I don't know. I think I think they did better when it Wild Bills before it was almost like a Wild West sort of thing, and it had a, it had like a horse and cart on it and stuff like that. Or no, it didn't. It had a guy with a cowboy on it. It was still an American IPA. It was still by Harper's Brewing Company. Now what Aldi tend to do is they'll either mimic a beer. Uh, as they have done, they've done some rip-offs of things like Corona uh, Lager. Probably shouldn't say Corona in this uh, time, but you know what I mean. Uh, they've ripped off things like San Miguel. They've ripped off Estrella. They've uh, also ripped off, or they tried to rip off Brewdog with a certain beer that they did. Um, so they, they'll either go for the rip-off or they'll just come up with their own random names for beer companies. So this is Harper's Brewing Company. Now... That's the name for all their bottle, 500 milliliter bottle, by the way, 5%, sorry, um, gravity, ABV, 5%. So it's the, the beginning of the IPA market in the UK. American IPAs in America are usually 6% and above. That's a UK 5% and above. Uh, yeah, so Harper's Brewing Company, is, it, it's not a real company. It doesn't have a brewery anywhere. It's just made up uh, and it's rebottled. It's brewed under contract by a bigger brewery. I believe it to be Marston's. I believe this is brewed by Marston's. Uh, I think under the old bottles, it did actually say when it was Wild Bill's IPA, it used to say at the top, brewed by Marston's, PLC, Burton on Trent. Um, but these days, Aldi don't tell you who brew their beers. Now, they have a can range, um, craft beer can range called the Hop Foundry. Let's face it, they're dreadful. They're awful. Shocking. The latest ones they did in March 2021, dreadful, awful stuff. Uh, I did the grapefruit one, and their so-called double IPA, it went down the sink. I drank half of it and I don't know what I was tasting. So this is their American IPA. This has been out in this bottle for probably about maybe a year, 18 months. And um, before that it was called Wild Bill's American IPA. And I remember thinking it was a bit meh, but then I did read that they'd actually change the recipe slightly. So it's still 5%, but it's supposed to be an improved recipe. So I thought, why not pick up a bottle? This in Aldi, by the way, I think is £1.9. So £1.9 for a 5% American IPA. I mean, £1.9. Can you really complain at that price? So we'll get it into the glass. Got the shipyard glass for this one. Not just because Shipyard is also Marston's, um, just because it holds the head better than my Purity Brewery glass. So into the glass. And let's see what we get. Let's check out the appearance. Um, this looks quite similar in appearance to what more traditional pale ale. Wow, there's no head on that whatsoever. There's absolutely no head on that, is it? That's worse than my Purity glass. Um, it was a bit hissy when I opened it, but it's kind of disappeared now. The head's gone bye-bye very quickly. It is a um, chestnutty, amber, mahogany, traditional pale ale, colour, spitfire, uh, green king IPA. It's not an IPA. Um, 
and the bass ale that we did they're all sort of similar colors to this it's like a darker best bittery type color traditional pale ale but yeah the heads there's, there's no head on that now i did just do a previous beer review and i have rinsed out this glass so whether or not that's had any effect on it i don't know it's been out of the fridge probably about 10 minutes or so it wasn't in the fridge that long actually because i just decided you know what i may as well review this as well today right I'm going to get the nose in there, so we're going to give it a whiff and see what we can sniff. It's malty. That's kind of about all I'm getting. I'm not really getting much hot content, really. I'm getting sweet, biscuity malt, and that sort of bit of that butterscotch sweetness, which makes me think it's a Marston's beer. Not really picking up much else. Well, see what we get. So we'll uh, give you a cheers and a bottoms up and down the old hatchet. It's very traditional. I wouldn't say that was an American IPA. My understanding of American IPAs. I'm just trying to see if I can get some head going on it. Get it to react a bit. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? Um, for a five percenter, it's actually quite thin. It just tastes. It tastes quite shandyish, actually, which is really weird thing to say um i can taste malt so i'm getting the malt build on there i'm getting the biscuit malt sweetness from the malt there's a bit of a bitter aftertaste um but it's not it's not it's not american hot i'd say that was fuggles a goldings um something like that it doesn't look too bad when you sweat around in the glass there you go i've got the head going now now I'm getting some more notes. I'm getting a bit more hoppy notes, but I'd say tiny bit citrusy, but I would definitely say more traditional. I would say this. This is traditionally hopped. British hops. Um, it's nice to, now I've swirled it round a bit and I've got it going a bit. I've got the head there. It's kind of got rid of the shandy, fizzy sort of shandy lager. Well, not shandy lager, like a shandy bitter taste. It's thickened up a bit. The body's sort of come into its own. So maybe that's just from rinsing the glass out. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I don't brew. I'm not an expert. I don't work in the industry. It's okay. It's not bad. It's one pound nine a bowl. I've had it before. Um, do I think it's an improved recipe from when it's Wild Bills or last time I had it? No, it tastes the same to me. I'll have a quick look on the bottle. Uh, biscuit and spice balance with big hop citrus fruit aromas. Yeah, it's biscuity. Yeah, it probably is a bit spicy. Um, it's not as tart when we did things like Spitfire and beers like that. We found it was a bit marmalade and jam tart in the aftertaste. This isn't. There's a bit of bitterness at the back end, there is. It's, it's there, but it's definitely more traditional bitterness. It's not jam tarty aftertaste. Maybe the spice bit, the, yeah, maybe it is a bit spicy. Never really, picked, never really thought to pick up spice in beer. Um, but now they mention that on the bottle. Yeah, I'd agree with that. It's not the worst beer I've had. Their double, that dreadful double IPA in cans was absolutely appalling. Um, £1.9 a bottle. Now, I used to, I did actually used to buy this. I think it was £1.19. So it's gone down 10p as well in price. Bear that in mind. And it's brewed exclusively for Aldi. Uh, I've heard good things about some of their other range. They do an amber ale, they do a toffee ale, 
and they do I think a stout as well which is supposed to be decent probably better than this I just think that if you're paying £1.9 a bottle you, you get what you pay for um, and it's not going to be rammed full of your American sea hops and things like that for £1.9 a bottle it's just not it's not financially viable either for the brewery or probably for Aldi because Aldi are the undercutters right they're the cheap alternative so they want this on the shelf for that price point and you, know, you get what you pay for don't you a lot in life and, and this is £1.9 a bottle um, would I say it's an American IPA no would I say it's a decent maybe hoppy traditional hopped IPA maybe I'd expect a traditional IPA to be a bit stronger but it's 5% right so it's in the beginning part of an IPA at 5% in that case it's okay I'll give it a thumbs up because it's not the worst beer that I've ever had um, so the thumbs up would probably mean that I'd buy it again and I probably would when would I buy it I would buy it for example, I've got a friend of mine who's a DJ, shout out Harrison C, I know you watch, um, and he lives in the Mansfield area. So um, I go to his, obviously when lockdown's over and we can go again, and he, we get on the decks and we sometimes play a bit of um, a bit of Xbox. You know, just have a lad's night, I, I kip on his sofa, uh, or he's got a wonderful blow up bed um, that I, I sleep on, which is much more comfy than his sofa. Sorry, Chris Lad. And we go to Aldi because he's got an Aldi nearby him. He's actually got a little now as well. Uh, but we usually go to Aldi and we'll get, you know, the big bags of crisps that they do, the um, sort of uh, salt and vinegar crisps or the spicy ones, whatever. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get a few beers. And that's when I'll pick this up. Because for the price point, £1.9, because he'll like his beers again. He's more of a lager drinker. Uh, he tends to drink their Galahad which I wouldn't touch with a with a barge pole but each to their own I'm not, I don't judge him for it it's just everyone's got their own opinion on beer right so he, he likes that and I don't so, but I'll, I'll pick up a couple of bottles of this because I think you know it's one pound nine and it's it's we're sort of having a session I'll pick up some of the hobgoblin golds as well because they're one pound 19 a bottle in, in Aldi um, but I, I might gravitate to that and that's sort of a, a, a thing where I buy it where I'm we're on the decks and we're playing some tunes and this, that and the other and I'll buy it as part of a, of, of a, a range of beer I'll buy for like a session where I'm not really that bot. I mean, usually when we're at his, we drink it out of the bottle. So we're drinking to sort of have a bit of a boogie with the music. So we're not necessarily drinking to go, ooh, this, let's swirl this round in the glass and let's get the aroma or whatever. You're just drinking to f sort of fuel you through the night with dancing and what have you. So... In that extent, for a sort of a sessionable beer, sessionable beer at a good price, that's why it's a thumbs up. Is it the best beer I've ever tasted? No. Is it the worst beer I've ever tasted? No. Is it an American IPA? Not in my opinion. For starters, it's too dark. And secondly, there's, I don't think there's any American hops in that. It's very, very butterscotch, you know, on the smell. Very malty, butterscotch sweet. It's got Marston's written all over it. But whether you like Marston's or not, they do a job. I don't mind Marston's beer. I quite like some of their brands. It's okay. It's decent. Thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you on another beer review. Ciao for now, people.